Of course, the next 24 hours or so, the rain is going to be the big story. So, Rebecca, question is, how much is it going to rain? Well, it looks like, Steve, some, some places will get anywhere from an inch and a half of rainfall to two inches. And we're looking at mainly the mountains to be the culprit for that amount of rainfall. But a lot of us are going to get a half inch to an inch of rain. And we're waiting to see our views disappear briefly, like this view that we have from West Seattle, looking at downtown Seattle. Currently, we can see it. The lights are nice and bright and sparkly in the raindrops. But I expect to see visibilities come down fairly low overnight into the morning hours of Sunday as there's so much humidity in the air, a lot of moisture in the air, and it's just beginning to condense. So as we look at the amount of rainfall so far this evening, we've had a few hundredths of an inch in some places, but Kelso at the Kelso Longview Airport is already reporting almost a quarter of an inch of rain in the gauge. Cumulated rainfall future cast. This is ending tomorrow night at 1130. You can see we'll get about three quarters of an inch of rain for Seattle and about an inch from Tacoma southward. On the coast, we're going to get a half inch to an inch of rainfall. The real focus is going to be on the Olympic Mountains and south of the Olympics and parts of the Kitsap Peninsula. That's where this plume of moisture is going to focus through the course of the day tomorrow. So increasing rain tonight. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. Yes, it'll be mild, certainly, and the rain will be heavy at times as we get into the early morning hours of Sunday. Already some moderate rain pushing in on the Doppler radar. You can see that it's hitting the coast and then it's traveling also up from Olympia to Tacoma. Not quite to see to Everett just yet, but it's almost there. The atmospheric river is providing this thick plume of moisture. It's riding in with the frontal system. So we've got the lift. We've got more than enough rain. In fact, it could be record rain. And we're expecting this to continue through the night tonight. At 5 a.m., we'll all still be in the rainfall. After 5 a.m., we're going to see that steady rain become more focused in the Olympic Peninsula and the mountains. And then that moves on and breaks a little bit to showers. But those will be heavy showers. 5 o'clock tomorrow, it looks like we'll have that slight chance of some thunderstorms in the Cascades, mainly on the eastern slopes. But the rain showers continue, and they could be heavy at times, causing some low visibility and ponding of water on the roads. At this point, we'll expect it to also be humid and warm tomorrow, with breezy conditions on the coast and in the north interior through the Strait of Juan de Fuca. The mountains, that late chance of thunderstorms is there, but it, rain is going to be heavy to start the day, changing over to afternoon showers. So Again, tough travel in the passes. Rainy and humid for us with a high of 68 in Seattle. Most of us will be in the mid to upper 60s. And you just expect a lot of water to hang out in the air. And we'll finally start to get a bit of a break to those showers overnight Sunday night into early Monday. We get another round of some rain along with the risk of some thunderstorms on Tuesday. And we'll break that humid feeling finally on Wednesday. And we're going to warm up and have sunshine dry us out nicely for a few days. I'm already looking forward to that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> 